Good morning. It is early October. We're going to go camping, me and Riley, and hopefully stay warm. Uh, should be fun. We're going to do some fishing and relaxing and cutting lots of firewood. So let's begin our trip. Well, I made it up to Iron Line Campground up the North Fork of the Duchesne River. I'm in spot number 11. Never stayed in this spot before. Love this campground though. It's awesome. We use the camp on the other side, a little bit closer to the river. Just do a quick walk through for you. Not a lot of tent space up here, but it's just me. Hopefully I got enough firewood for two nights. That's my plan. If I decide to stay longer, I'll try and get some more. There's Riley in the sun, a little chilly. And I got a little, my little spring bar, two-man tent. When I mean little, it's little. Big enough for me and the dog. I don't know why they call it two-man. Anyway, this is uh, North Fork, the Duchesne River. Ironline Campground. Thanks. When I decided to do this trip alone, always wanted to make sure I do everything safe and what do I do cut myself with the hatchet it's not bad I was just trying to get the hatchet out of the wood I was splitting and I was rocking it back and forth and I had my thumb in the way like a dumbass anyway when you're alone be safe out in the wilderness well it's lunchtime it's gonna make me a ham and cheese sandwich Guess what I forgot? Ham and cheese. They're in the fridge. So, I'm gonna try some Mountain House mm, Chili Mac with beef. Show you what that looks like. I hope it's good. Well, the Mountain House Chili Mac with beef better than I thought. Not too shabby for lunch. Well, got camp all situated. Got lunch taken care of. Me and Riley are gonna drive down the canyon a little bit, see if we can get some uh, cell service, let everybody know we're good, and enjoy the rest of our couple of days here. See you later. I didn't think I was gonna be hot up here. Uh, I guess it's because we're in the elevation. The sun's hitting pretty good. It's a beautiful day. 55 degrees, but we're in a dark shirt. That sun's just beating on me. A little bit of a breeze makes it feel nice. Who to thunk? Take off your shirt, man. It's nice here in the mountains, mid-October. Well, the sun's about ready to go down over the mountain. Not too much longer. It's cooling off now. I'm assuming it's going to cool off a lot because this morning when I got here, there was ice on the river. So, we'll see how we do tonight and see if we can stay warm. Dog Riley's getting old. She used to love to go camping. I don't know if she does anymore. She's just been kind of hanging out in the tent. I give her enough room to get in and out. If I walk around, she comes out. If I sit around, she goes back in. Well, the sun's gone down. It's getting that time. Riley's in the tent. Started the fire. And we'll see how that goes, how long that lasts. It's probably gonna be too cold to even sit around a fire. So we'll see. Got plenty of wood, I think. At least for two nights. Anyway, it's been a wonderful day. It's been relaxing. Not too hard setting up a campsite for one person. A little bit weird, I've never done this before. Anyway, 
Maybe we'll talk to you a little bit later in the tent. There's quite a few people here in the campground. It's kind of surprising, but I'm not sure if it has to do with, I think the deer hunt's going on right now. Um, it's not full by any means, but there's probably about five people, five spots um, in, the, in the campground. Somebody's dog's barking like crazy. Those things is driving me nuts. Uh, it was cold for a minute, but now that I got the fire going, I'm not cold at all. Not sure what the temperature is. We'll find out when I get in the tent. I've got a thermometer in my sleeping or in my uh, my bag. We'll pull it out and check it. So anyway, we're getting ready for the night. Riley seems to be a little bit cold. I'm hoping she'll just stay in the tent. Got it propped open just in case she wants to come out. She's a little cold. I don't know if you could see her or not in there. But anyway, I'm having a pretty good time. I'm enjoying this. Sitting by the fire. Just relaxing. See you in a little while. That yellow patch right in the middle of the screen. Doesn't look like a heart from here, but when you're over near the phase, it has the shape of a heart. If I ever come to uh, Campsite 11 again, well, or Iron Mine, I should say, come over to Campsite 11. I've hidden a penny, which you may already know I'm going to start doing more often, but can you see it? It's right there. Looks like we should have a little bit of light tonight. Like about a half moon. Well, it's eight o'clock. <laughs> a little early to be going to bed, but it's dark outside and I don't know. Just thought I'd come in the tent, I guess, and see how we do for the night. It was 45 degrees in here when I got in. Turn the uh, I got a Mr. Buddy heater. I turned it on for a minute and got it up to 50 real quick. So I just have to do that periodically through the night, I think. Uh, we'll see. I just don't want it to get too cold for Riley. I uh, I think I'll be fine. I've got a 20 degree bag inside of a, a synthetic, probably. 40 degree bag so I should be warm tonight I don't think I'll get cold uh, just hope we don't have to pee so that's it for now talk to you later well it's about 7 30 in the morning it's uh, 34 degrees in the tent I don't know if you can see that or not. And it was a cold night. I stayed warm. I had a sleeping bag inside of a sleeping bag, but and my poor dog I had to keep putting her in her bag in the bag with me. And she just didn't like that. So all night long we just kept going back and forth, back and forth. I'd turn the Mr. Buddy heater on once in a while. But that doesn't, it puts too much moisture in here and condensation. So I think tonight we're going to try and sleep in the Tahoe, see how that goes. Anyway, it's been uh, 11 and a half hours in the tent. It's time to get out. I don't care how cold it is. Well, we're out of the tent, but we're in the Tahoe. It's just cold, cold, cold. It's 29 degrees. And Riley's three pounds, so she's gonna freeze to death. So started up the truck and getting the heater going for her, at least for him a little bit, get her warm. Once the truck heats up, I can just leave her in here for a while while I get coffee going, get some breakfast in me. So that's what we're doing right now is raving the cold. Yeah, it's a little cold this morning, 26 degrees. 
But the sun's finally reached camp. Should start warming up. Well, it's finally warmed up here. It's one of those decisions where I'm faced with, do I try and enjoy myself? I know I would enjoy myself, but having this dog is just kind of being a pain. She's old, just sits here and stares at me. Pretty sure she would like to go home. I stayed warm last night. I don't think she did. She finally got in my sleeping bag probably about 3.30 this morning to sleep with me and get warm. Anyway, most of everybody's pulled out of this campground. And so there's, I'm clear on the end. There's nobody here. All of a sudden this guy pulls up in his trailer and parks two spots away from me. It's like, come on, dude. I want to be alone. But anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do. Might stay here. If I do, I am not going to sleep in the tent tonight. Um, it's just too small. Especially trying to run that uh, Mr. Buddy heater. I'm just too worried about the uh, tent. I mean, I only keep it on for like a minute, but it puts too much condensation in there and only heats it up for 10 minutes maybe. So I'm gonna, I did make a bed in the Tahoe. I'm gonna take the tent down and try and figure out what I wanna do, whether I wanna stay or go. I really want to go fishing, but with this dog, I just don't know. Anyway, I'll let you know. Well, we decided to come home. I made a decision to do that because Riley's old and she weighs about three pounds and was very cold last night, just shivering all night in and out of my sleeping bag over and over. Uh, she did finally stay in the bag for a couple hours from about 3.30 to 5.30, maybe 6, I don't know. Anyway, I really wanted to go fishing and stay another night, at least one more night, possibly two, but we decided to come home and she's been sleeping ever since we got home. She likes it home. Oh, Riley. Anyway, I'll wrap this video up. Thanks for watching.